hi everyone so in this video i'm going to show you the two main modes of troubleshooting so i'm going to explain to you the isolation inclusion mode and exclusion mode so let's get started so inclusion mode is based on the analysis and diagnosis of a workstation or a major component within a group of components so as you can see here for example this is basically the main component we have a b c and d so let's assume that here the workstation or the major component is d as you can see so as i told you before the inclusion mode is based on the analysis and diagnosis of the workstation so here we're gonna focus on d here we have a laptop the number four as you can see here we have the plug the cable and adapter and number four is the laptop so here for inclusion mode we're gonna focus on troubleshooting the number four means the laptop but here in exclusion mode as you can see is based on the analysis and diagnosis of a component of a set except for the main component here as you can see we have a b c d here for example as you can see always the day is the workstation or the major component here we're gonna not focus on the laptop as you can see this black laptop no we're gonna replace it with another laptop so we're gonna focus on troubleshooting all component except the main component the laptop as you can see except this laptop so we're gonna check the plug the adapters and we're gonna replace this laptop with a with another laptop basically this is the exclusion mode this is the two main troubleshooting mode the first component that we should check here is the power jack as you can see so the first component in the chain is the power jack so we should check whether the power jack is good is serviceable or not so how can we check the power jack i show you how so basically we check the power jack by checking as you can see the eight terminals in using the multimeter so as you can see basically the power jack is running under the dc voltage so we're gonna use the multimeter to check whether the power jack is good or not first we should check its terminals the solder of its terminals is it good or not you should check whether you have a dry or not if you find any dry in edge terminals you should resolder it again so basically here the power jack we have two terminals means ground and we have in the center the high pin so as you can see here this is a dry if you find like this solder this is a bad solder you should do another solder okay so you should always find like this as you can see soldering so when you use the multimeter and check between the high pin and the low pin you should find 19 volt in accordance with the kind of adapter is it a 19 volt adapter or 20 volt adapter so if you find 19 volt means the voltage or the power is passed to the motherboard means the power jack is good so the next step is the power switch if you find that the power jack is good you should check the power switch so basically the power switch you should check the 3.3 volt in the power switch okay so i will show you how you can check the power switch so as you can see here basically if you disassemble the laptop you will find that the power switch is in this shape as you can see basically it has four terminals as you can see two grounds and two high terminals okay as you can see here we have a high terminal okay so basically this is the schematic of the power switch so we gonna check the 3.3 volt in the power switch okay as you can see here using the multimeter you should check whether you have 3.3 volt or not if you find the 3.3 volt of course you should check whether you have 3.3 volt without powering on the laptop so 
by plugging just the adapter you should find 3.3 volt in the terminals of the power switch okay so if you find 3.3 volt means the 3.3 volt circuit is good means the motherboard is good if you don't find it means you should check the 3.3 volt circuit in the motherboard so if we find that the power switch is good and of course we find before that the power jack is good so the problem is in the motherboard so how can we check the motherboard so I show you how so of course we gonna troubleshoot the motherboard using a logical tree we gonna use a logical tree that we will we will follow to troubleshoot the serviceability of this motherboard so if you understand just the process or the working principle you can troubleshoot any motherboard so as you can see here we have the laptop we have the power jack here if you find for example that the power jack is bad you can just replace it and you will solve the problem but if you find the power jack is good then you should check the power switch so the power switch if you find 3.3 volts means the motherboard automatically is failed so you should replace the motherboard but if you check the power switch and you find zero volt means you have problem in the 3.3 volt motherboard circuit you should check the 3.3 volt motherboard circuit okay so 3.3 volt you find 3.3 volt means you have problem in the motherboard so if you find zero volt in the power switch means the 3.3 volt circuit is bad